Hi, this is Marloons Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute baby flower pots. This is a mini version of my flower baby that I have on my channel, and I just wanted to make a tiny one, and it's a lot easier with the petals than this one was. You had to make so many of these, and this one was a lot more fun, and you have the choice of adding arms and legs or having your flower in a baby flower pot. So for today, I have not counted the bands. It does not take a lot, but I will, after the tutorial, I will add it in the description so you guys will be able to look in the description and see how many bands you will need. I'm going to show you first how to make the petals of your flower. And to do that for today, I'm gonna to be using fuchsia bands mixed with the glitter. So you can use more than one shade of bands for your flower. Once I have showed you how to make one, you're going to want to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to make eight of them. So I make one with you, and then you're going to make seven more, and you can pause the video. So what I do is you can either take one shade of color, one whole color, and take a single band and wrap it around your hook, and then you can do that four times. So you would take a single band and wrap it around your hook four times. And then, so that's four bands, and then you would use the same exact color, which I don't have right now. So you use the same color that you use to wrap around four times, and you would slide on all four of these. And then just, once you have slide them on, you would just grab the ends, and that would be one set, and you would have to make seven more. Today I'm going to be mixing, I'm gonna use one fuchsia, and one metallic, then one fuchsia, and one metallic. And that's the pattern that I chose. There's four all together. And then I'm going to take a fuchsia band. So all together, there's five bands, and I'm sliding it on, collecting the corner, and I have made one set. And on my loom, I already pre-made them. So you can pause the video and make all eight sets, and then when you return, we can start with the flower. So the next step, once you have made all of the petals, is you're gonna make your face. For the face, I chose to make two, um, I chose to use two pony beads. If you don't have pony beads, you can just use black bands, that's fine. So I am using glitter, Rainbow Loom's glitter bands, and they came assorted, and I'm using their purple for the middle of my flower. And on this one, this one is Rainbow Loom's um, assorted glitter as well, and this is the orange. So you're gonna grab two bands and place it from here to here, and they're purple, so you might not see it, it might be dark. One, two, three, and then you're turning in on the fourth. So that's what yours should look like, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then fill in the middle. So once you have completed the face, you're going to now add your stem with your arms. And if you choose to add the legs, you can do that as well, or you can choose the flower pot. Today I'm going to do the flower pot. And you're gonna to switch to the green that you want. And I'm using Rainbow Loom's dark green bands. You're gonna take two, place two here. And another two here. Now, if you do not want the flower pot and you want your figure to have arms and legs like this guy, then you are now going to continue. This is only if you're doing the legs. You're gonna do another set of green. So you're gonna do one, two, three. 
and then you're going to go this way and this way. And that's going to be your legs. And you're going to cap the ends, wrapping a single green band around four times on these. And then you're going to add arms. So you're going to add arms on this one. And go down here like that. That's one arm. Again, take a single band, wrap it on this peg four times. And then the arm on the other side. And what you're going to do is once this is your setup, you are going to loop the arms first and the legs first. Obviously the legs because you need to loop the legs anyway. But you're going to loop the arms first and then once you loop forward, then this band would overlap in the middle. And then you can just stop at the neck with us because I'm going to do, it's the same step to do the hair as if you were doing the flower pot. So I'm going to remove these because I am doing the flower pot today. So just two sets. And now grab the color that you want your flower pot to be. I use the color that came in the um, assorted camouflage pack, Rainbow Looms Camouflage. So you're going to take two bands. You can take brown or any dark color. Place two here, two here. and two here, two here, and two in the middle. So this is what yours should look like so far. You should have the face, the two green bands in the middle for the stem, and then the flower pot. And now you're gonna take, again, the same color for your flower pot, place from here to here, and from here to here. And then you can push down, grab a single band that matches your flower pot, and wrap it around this middle peg four times. Now you can leave your flower pot like this, or you can add arms. I happen to like the way it looks with arms. So I'm going to grab two green bands, and from this peg right here, I'm going to place one here and one going this way. And I'm going to use my hook, take a single band, wrap it around your hook four times. So take a single band, wrap it around your hook four times. Take another two bands, slide that on, and place it on here. Or you can use your loom and just put two and then cap it. Whichever is easier for you. Do that again for the other side. Place it on here. And now we are going to add our flower petals. So I already have pre-made them and I'm going to place two at the top. You want two on the top, and then you're going to fill in every other peg except for the middle. You're not filling in the middle. You're just filling in the outer ones and not this one. Now if you notice, these would make a cute fuzzy too. I have a fuzzy on my channel and if you took your hand and covered the stem, 
and you can picture the other two pink on the bottom, it would make a really cute fuzzy. If you want to do that next, you don't add the green bands. You would just add all these fuzzies and you would have two here. So you want two always on the top, two on the bottom, and then all these. And then you would place the cap, the band, the way I'm going to show you with the eyes, and then a triangle band here, and you would just loop forward. And then you would have yourself just a fuzzy. So I'm going to replace that green band though, because we do want the flower. And I'm going to grab my eyes. For the eyes, I just used a purple band, the band that matches the middle of your flower, and I slid a single band onto two inside two pony beads, and then I would place that from here to here. But if you don't have that, you're just going to grab two purple bands, I mean two black bands for the eyes, wrap it around four times, do that again, wrap it around four times, and then transfer these onto this color band, the band that's in the middle, and then you would place it on the same spot as where I placed my eyes, and then open up the middle, and place one of these bands resting above that peg, and there would be your flower's eyes. And then you're going to grab another, grab another purple band, or the color that you chose for the middle of your flower, and place a triangle band from here to here. So you should have your eyes, your triangle band, your flower pot, and your arms. So now we can loop. You're going to reach in on this cap band right here, and you're going to grab the first two bands, and you're going to loop down. Reach in, grab the next two, and loop down. Grab those two, loop forward, loop the middle, and loop these two. I loop the corners last because I like the way it looks overlapping. And now you're going to loop the arms first. So reach in here, loop the arms, then once you have looped the arms, you're going to reach into the middle, grab those two green bands, loop to the middle, reach here, loop these, and now you're going to reach for the first two purple bands, or the color that you chose for the middle, and loop that. Reach for the next two, and then go to the right or to the left. And make sure that when you loop it, you don't snag on the petals. And then the last one. Oops. So now you're going to reach in the middle, and you can loop all the way to the top for the middle. Just push these down, because there's two of them. Now you're going to reach here, grab the bottom two. You want to push all these bands back and just grab the bottom two and loop forward. There's that eye band right here. You want to push that back and these bands. Grab the bottom two, loop forward. If you accidentally loop wrong, your whole face is going to come apart. And then pull on this one, grab these bottom two and loop to the middle. So we loop this whole side and we're going to loop this side. Reach, pushing back, again that's that eye band, push that back, grab the bottom two, and make sure you pull these down, and the same thing on this one. So now you're just going to take two bands and you're going to make a slip knot. Grab your hook, go through all the bands, pull through, and what you're going to do is you're not going to make a slip knot over the hair because that will look funny. You're going to pull on the hair and you're going to go through, grab that slip knot that you have, those two bands, or try to grab them, pull it through, and then create the slip knot.
And if you're not using jelly bands, just be careful when you pull so you don't snap them. And then you can just take your flower pot off. And that slip knot is in the front. So all you have to do is lift, take your hook, go through, grab the slip knot, and pull it through to the back. And now it's resting in the back. And then you can just take that slip knot and thread it through the back so that it doesn't stick up, or you can use it as a charm. I'm just going to hide it for now. And there is your flower. And just to let you know that the flower on top is laying funny, so this is what I do. Here are both of your flowers on top. And if you can see this very first band right here, this one right here, you're going to put the other flower through it. So you're going to lift it, place it through, and now they will lay right. And this is your cute baby flower pot. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it was easy. I thought it was pretty easy. And I hope you were able to understand how to do the body. And again, if you didn't want the body and you just wanted it to be a fuzzy without the body, it would look like that. You have to make sure you add two on top, two on the bottom, so that there's no gap. If you don't add two, there's going to be a weird space. So two, two, three on each side and they make cute little tiny fuzzies and you can change the color. So show me your BB flower pots and you can share it with me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And thank you so much for watching.